You love Chicago Fire, the gritty drama about the brave men and women in the Windy City. And you couldn't tear your eyes away from Chicago PD. Now, Dick Wolf is back with a new drama about another group of Chicagoans struggling in the face of an unforgiving city. You guys ready? Let's do this. Let's do it. It's Dick Wolf's Chicago Improv. An unfiltered look at the cutthroat world of Chicago's improv comedy scene. All we need is a suggestion of a household object, anything you have around your house. Still though. Okay, uh, something other than dildo, please. Two dildo. Unflinching in its depiction of the real lives of Chicago improvisers. It's dialogue ripped from real life improv classes. Hey, great object work out there. Oh yeah, because all of your sweep edits were perfectly timed. Stop it! We're all on the same Herald team. Guys, you know who's in the audience right now? Greg Amico. What the hell was everything they just said, asks the New York Times. And the Boston Globe wonders, who is Greg Amico? Should I know who that is? Watch as people wearing plaid balance love and ambition in America's number three comedy market. I heard you're doing stand-up now. Just some open mics. Well, then I guess you'll have what you always wanted. Stage all to yourself. Hey, how many people from Torco even make it to main stage? I don't really know who the bad guy is here. Sit, sit, stop, sit. Guys, I booked it. I'm filming two commercials for Lou Malnati's. Congrats, Hollywood. The only show with real Chicago faces and bodies. I want to see pretty people, complains the Hollywood reporter, while USA Today says the fire imagery was misleading. My name is Janky Jackie, and I was born in a log cabin. Did Dick Wolf lose a bet? Why did he make this? Asks the Wall Street Journal. Too much improv, says Improv Magazine. Well, if they didn't like it, you're going to hate Dick Wolf's Chicago Improv.